Hey, Vertical Family, Pastor Scott here. Hey, I just wanted to take a few minutes to share with you some recent developments that are going to have an impact on our normal rhythms over the next couple of weeks. As some of you have likely heard, Pastor Josh and his family just learned yesterday that they had been exposed to COVID last week. They immediately went out and got tested, and unfortunately, both Josh and his wife Tiffany tested positive. Now, Josh has authorized us to share this so that everyone is aware of the situation, but they would greatly appreciate all of your prayers on their behalf. And I want to make sure you all know that at this point, neither Josh nor Tiff is experiencing any serious symptoms. So that's an awesome praise. Now, one of the complications of all this is that both Josh and Tiffany were volunteering with the kids' ministry this past Saturday. And as a result, each of the families that they came into contact with have been notified and they're likely going to have to self-isolate for a certain period of time. Now, given the number of families impacted by this, the elder team just felt that it was the most wise and prudent thing to do to shift back to virtual only worship and preaching for the next two weeks. Now, what this does is it provides ample time for the families impacted to quarantine according to published guidelines and positions us to gather together once again as a family on December 19th. Now, I know a lot of us are going to really miss gathering in person. But at the same time, I really feel that we should feel grateful for the fact that thanks to the wonders of modern technology, we still have the ability to worship. We still have access to gospel-centered teaching. So over the rest of this week, we're going to be communicating more information about what the next couple of weeks is going to look like at Vertical. So stay tuned to all the platforms that you normally follow for more information on all things vertical. Now, I know some of you might have a question about, hey, how does this impact community groups? Well, what we've decided is that we're going to let each group decide how this will impact their group's gatherings based on the level of exposure some of their members may have had. But I would encourage each of you to reach out directly to your community group leader with any questions. And I would say stay tuned to your group Slack channel for the latest updates from your group's leader. Now, finally, I have several prayer requests for all of you prayer warriors out there. And I know you're out there. First, please pray for the Price family and each of the families that might be impacted by this virus. Pray that their health would be restored and that they would be protected from any serious symptoms. Additionally, I know your elder team would really appreciate continued prayers for wisdom and discernment as we continue to work at navigating this new normal. And finally, I would ask that you pray for your vertical church family. Pray that we would not be discouraged by this. Pray that we would recognize God's sovereignty in this situation. And pray that we would live in light of the hope that we have in Jesus. Satan would love nothing more than for us to take our eyes off of Christ at this time. Let's not let him have that victory. I love you guys. I'm going to miss you guys. Be safe and we'll see you soon.